Brendan Taylor returned to form with an exceptional 100 on the opening day of the LV County Championship game, an important one between Somerset and Nottinghamshire in Taunton. Greeted with a flat pitch, acting not skipper Ricky Vessels had no hesitation in batting after winning the toss, as his side looked to avenge their defeat to their hosts earlier in the season. The visitors have had to ply their trade on some tricky pitches this summer, and so Stephen Mullaney and Taylor would have been thrilled to be out in the West Country sunshine first thing and faced with an attack missing the Overton twins and Lewis Gregory. Two dropped while Craig Overton joined Alex Hales and James Taylor in the England party. Mullaney will have been very disappointed to be bowled by a straightener from Abdurrahman, the spinner striking in his second over to end a brisk opening partnership of 82. Mullaney was out for 42, but Taylor did what he couldn't by reaching a 50 off 80 balls with his ninth four. Once he's got in this summer, the Zimbabwean has made the opposition pay, and this innings was to be no different. Indeed, this was just the start of an exemplary performance from the 29-year-old. He lost Greg Smith at the other end, the former Leicestershire man missing out when he let a ball from Alfonso Thomas in his stumps after making 11. Nottinghamshire went to the lunch break on 147 for two, their runs coming at only a little under five per over, with Taylor making 71 untroubled runs, now joined by Michael Lum, back from injury to play for the first time this summer in Red Bull cricket. The pattern continued into the afternoon. Somerset had left out the younger members of their attack to try to gain the kind of control that was missing in their defeat to Durham last week. A loss that put the home team here onto the foot of the first division table. How they would have loved to have been batting on this day. The batsmen having a lovely surface to play their shots on and an outfield which gave plenty of value to those strokes. The early part of the afternoon was again dominated by the visitors as Knotts earned their first batting bonus point for the loss of only two wickets. Taylor began this season with a couple of championship tons, and this shot returned him to that early season form as he got to three figures off only 128 balls, his 16th boundary taking him there. It was all a little easy for the man who's had a tremendous 2015, both for his county and country in the Winter World Cup. How to celebrate? With an effortless six just a couple of deliveries later. It was some shot. Next up was a 50 for Lum, one made off 67 balls with nine fours, and he was now hoping to match his partner. It's been a long time since he's reached three figures himself, not managing to do that at all last summer in the 26 championship innings he had. He had a great chance to right that wrong here. But on 73, having added 167 runs for the third wicket with Taylor, the left-hander edged Roman to Jim Allenby. Some relief for Somerset, who now reduced their opponents to 266 for three. Taylor, meanwhile, looked as if he was going to go on all day and make a very large score indeed. His 20th four had him at his 150. But then a surprise, a first fault shot and a brilliant one-handed catch from Marcus to Scothic, bringing an end to his innings on 152, made out of his sides 300 for four. Then, next ball, Samit Patel went back instead of forward and was bang in front to Thomas, who was, by some way, the pick of the home attack. But there was no sudden collapse from the visitors. Vessel saw to that. That shot went all the way. While the second new ball was also dealt with well by both the acting captain, having the job due to the absence of both Chris Reed and James Taylor, and Will Gidman. These two added another 70 runs for the sixth wicket, only for the latter to fall late in the day for 20, as he gave Thomas his fourth wicket and Triscothic his second catch, this one considerably easier than the first he took to remove Taylor. Vessel saw his team through to the close, passing a 50 as he did so, one which used up 81 deliveries from which he'd struck six fours and one six. He will want to bat for much longer on the second morning to put some scoreboard pressure on Somerset. In the past, Nottinghamshire have let positions like this slip, and they'll hope not to do that again when they resume on 391 for six, with Vessels there on 59. Somerset will want early wickets to stay in contention.